Imagine a world where every word ever written, every picture ever painted and every film ever shot could be viewed instantly in your home via an information superhighway. Welcome back. Another alleged gameplay video. Been a while, but I, I thought I'd return. Yeah, Arcade Paradise on the PS5. As per usual, here's my copy. You've got some really nice stickers in there as well. Nice little touch. Nice little old school touch. Um, so technically, this is the first official PS5 on the video. But yeah, it's not really a PS5 game. Doesn't need to be, if that makes sense. So let's have a look at this. Um, yeah, it's just uh, a real grind, this game. But it is it is just harmless fun. So this is my... Well, I was going to say my arcade. But it is actually a laundrette. Yeah? So you're... You're pretty much useless, useless. Your dad, your dad's getting the hump with you. He wants you to uh, take some responsibility and get a job. So he sends you to run this laundrette, one of his businesses or something like that. So you've got all this kind of drudgery that you must do. Clear up rubbish. Obviously service the, uh, the washing the drying um, but in the back room is where shall we say the fun begins because you're trying to do all this but you're also going to be running like an arcade like a little sideline yeah in the back so let's just get these put away and then we'll go we'll go in there and show you <laughs> There's more machines than necessary, so I'm not sure how busy, how potentially busy this is going to get. And as you progress, so you unlock uh, different, you know, uh, different arcade machines, everything else. Um, and the arcade machines are pretty good. They're all playable. They're all kind of generic, uh, as you would expect in any kind of game like this. The only kind of similar game i could put this up against is arcade craft which i really liked but i was crap at it that was uh like a mini a mini arcade simulator if you like i just couldn't keep up with the speed of it so yeah but i hope everyone's hunky dory bit of a gap on youtube for me i've been uh just busy obviously it's summertime I uh, have been playing a couple of games, finished a couple of games. I'll pop some gameplay up when I can be bothered. There's some real dirty customers around here. It, it is not the most inviting neighbourhood. So you get like, um, you get experience for, for silly things like this, like putting the, putting the rubbish out. You've got to time it just right. It's just harmless fun, bit of a grind, but it's nice to, in between games, or in between something kind of heavy, just load this up, put a day, maybe a couple of days in arcade time, uh, and then just leave it. So here's our machines. I think I've bought two so far. I'm having a problem at the moment with converting dollars into pounds. It's weird because I want to try and buy some posters for the arcade. So that's my next project. What I will say about this is um, they've done such a fantastic job. If you, if you get close up and look at the CRT monitors themselves... Um, they really have done a good job. So we'll just go into this quickly. I like this one. So this is kind of GTA meets Rally X. I, I believe it was Rally X. Yeah, that's the best way I could possibly describe it. 
yeah, a bizarre mix of GTA and Rally X. Good little game, but the games are good. I was going to show you the uh, the monitor. You know, when you get you get close to it, it's a real kind of attention to detail. How they've replicated that with the scan lines and everything else. I think we're going to come out of this. Yeah, best best shows it on this monitor here. I don't know if you can if it's coming through on the capture, but yeah, really good job of that. Yeah, you've got uh, you've got a uh, jukebox there and everything else, and obviously you collect your money. So you go around collecting money from the machines, and then you have to put the money in the safe. Uh, but as I say, I've forgotten how to convert dollars to pounds because you've got like a kind of generic kind of eBay alternative site on the old dial-up modem on that PC. Yeah, I like this. I like it. It's just, it's not taxing. It's not challenging. It is a grind, but it's just satisfying to put a couple of days in on this. When I say days, I mean game days. Um... And then just just get get leveling up, get new machines, and see where it takes us. So yeah, guys, take care of yourselves as per usual, all that good stuff, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.